Hello, Future Millionaire. <laughs> Today I'm having an interesting video for you guys. Uh, first part of the video is me touring a $4 million penthouse apartment on the Northern Gold Coast. And you're gonna watch me do something crazy. I almost broke a glass wall that's worth $100,000. And you'll see, uh, I'm spoiling a little bit, but I want to entice you to watch the whole thing. And second half of the video is about me uh, talking about the difference why people are getting out of risky coins and getting more into safe coins like Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, that kind of things. And I go a little bit more in depth about the psychology of dopamine release based on the temporary price release of every day up and up and up, that kind of things. Uh, it's related to trading psychology, related to brain chemistry. If you're interested in those things, you watch that part as well. Of course, I hope you watch the entirety of all the videos and enjoy it in the process. All right, thank you. Hello, Fisherman in there. Uh, bonus Sunday uh, property viewing. Uh, just to get an idea, this is a penthouse. Uh, let's see. Access to the ocean. Boat comes through here. Oh, gosh. Wow. Sorry, didn't break. That glass is interesting Did you hit? no no i have had on so it doesn't hurt but i'm surprised the glass is there didn't i was focusing on the, the camera. on the camera you're not the first person to do it I'm sure yeah i can imagine all right that makes interesting video just rang into the glass yeah okay that's funny That's a design error. You should never put a glass there. The brain didn't anticipate that one. <laughs> Luckily, it's the camera first. Okay. Just be careful around the corner. There's a piece of glass that shouldn't be there, but it's a glass. I just ran into it. Yeah. Yeah, they put a glass in the middle of the balcony. It's, just, it's, not, it's not a good design. All right, so you guys just witnessed me <laughs> running full speed into a glass panel. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens, can easily happen. Okay. Oh, this property is well used. Look at the carpet. Well used. Views <sighs> to all directions. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Laundry. Another room. Another bathroom. Oh, that glass is a deal breaker, man. I'll let them in if you want. Yeah. Um, you'll have to buzz me back because the lift system will turn now. Okay. Master. Interesting master. Yeah, that glass was a deadly trap. That alone will disqualify this property. That's the reason we do checks on this in real life instead of relying on pictures. Yeah, let's do it one more time. Living space, glass on the left, but not on the right. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. All right, that concludes my <laughs> interesting Sunday property view. First time ever in my life I run into a piece of glass. That doesn't make any sense. That design is seriously wrong. Should never put a glass here. Yeah. All right, the view is good though. Bye. Hello, future millionaire. Uh, new location, new content. 
everything slightly different. I hope I don't get a copyright strike for the music in the background. It doesn't really matter. Uh, now the sun is coming up. Uh, this place, by the way, is one of the um, most well-hidden waterfront properties on the Gold Coast. So this whole area was undiscovered for a very long time and was not selling well at all. So now, because everything is going up in value, therefore property price here probably has gone up as well. That's my guess. I didn't even bother to check because this is not on my radar screen. So this particular location window, it looks fantastic, but it does not fulfill every single requirement I have for a next uh, waterfront investment property. So therefore, I'm not considering this. I'm here literally just um, enjoying the atmosphere, experience the energy, and see if I get inspired for a video that I would not be able to make otherwise. The coffee here is very watery. I don't know why. This is actually a medium size with um, two shots, but it still tastes very watery. I prefer my coffee on the beach, to be honest. I think Merlot coffee is still my favorite. For those who are into coffee culture, I can highly recommend trying different brands. This is not the one I would recommend though. Uh, okay, I'm pretty certain I'm gonna get a copyright strike on my video for this one because in the background all the famous music get played, but why not? Now, let's see what we can talk about today. Uh, I actually haven't even checked price today because I'm preparing to start trading. Therefore, prices are pretty important. So, I'm not checking the price and give you guys a live reaction on the price on the different cryptos. Let's see what's going on. What happened last January? Nothing. 1% up on most cryptos. Yeah. Oh, Shiba dropped 5%. So that round back didn't work, huh? <laughs> yeah, BCH is unmoved. Nothing special happened. Saturday, Sunday is not exactly the most interesting days to watch. So, what does it leave us? Uh, it gives us more opportunity to look at the big picture. The big picture is. 2021 has been a pretty bullish market for everybody, let's say, except BCH. Okay, maybe I, I want to use this video to address one big problem that everyone else is talking about, that all other cryptocurrencies are making all-time highs, but uh, Bitcoin Cash is not doing it, and what is the reason for that? And I would reckon the number one reason is lack of marketing, because uh, we are only just restarting the effort into the marketing of Bitcoin Cash. I dare to say it is a coin that is not on most people's radar screen. Also because of the lack of um, performance, less people are interested in buying this coin because the performance didn't catch up to its uh, fundamentals. And I know a lot of people in this industry who currently have given up on Bitcoin Cash. So when people give up on the coin, what happens is that they don't really have any ability to keep checking back on the same coin. What I mean by that? So imagine people who are used to be into Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash and a few other coins and XRP and so on. And when they get enticed by newer coins like Shiba and so on, they get addicted to the daily performance. When you wake up in the morning, you check your phone and the phone tells you you're up 20%. That gives you a dopamine shot that is not comparable to anything else other than drugs. I want to point this out clearly. And a lot of people who trade crypto are actually drug addicts. <laughs> Let's call it that way. They're addicted to the dopamine that's produced by your own brain. And the problem with dopamine shots is that once you get to an elevated level of dopamine, the only way to receive a excitement that's similar to the previous one is by getting even bigger percentage gains. So let's imagine three days in a row you see 10% increase in your portfolio. On the fourth day, if you see another 10% increase, your dopamine production will not spike as much as in the first three days. And therefore, you will actually not feel as well or as, or, or as exciting as in the first three days when you experience that price increase. Tell me if I'm wrong. So basically this means that 
for people who are, are trading cryptos, actually they're doing for more than just money nowadays. A lot of people trading cryptos is for the sheer excitement, it's similar to a gambling a guy who uh, win a jackpot. But if you let the same guy win jackpot every time when he pulled a lever, then the excitement is gone. It has to be intermittent. The, um, the Skinner box, for those people who are interested in, in the basic reason why dopamine works, it's all based on Skinner's uh, experiment with chicken. So uh, intermittent uh, reinforcement is the key. Now in crypto, people getting intermittent reinforcement by putting money into different uh, funny coins, let's call it that way. Joe coins, funny coins, uh, meme coins. So the brain learns and adapts to what's that. The brain of the people in 2021 has been adapted to the meme coin experiment. Basically, people have been taught that they have to put money into the uh, high risk, high reward area and those are usually the meme coins, the special coins, and uh, one day off coins. What this does is it desensitizes them towards the smaller gains, like the sturdy gains. Like Bitcoin Cash is up 150% over the last 12 months, but nobody cares about it because that is not a big spike compared to the what, whatever 6,000, 7,000 percent in other coins. Yeah, so your brain just seek out for more and more pleasure. And I want you to keep that in mind that even though you think you're investing, a big chunk of your brain is actually hooked on gambling. So I want you to always remember that. So before you start the Monday, and this video will be released on the Monday, before you start trading on Monday, I want you to remember that everything you do so far is actually more akin to gambling than investing because if you are a true investor you should have your fundamental thinking about the value of the coin and don't be deterred don't be deterred by the day-to-day -day price movement but the good news here is this a lot of people who watch my channel are actually investors they're not gamblers so that's one good thing i can see however we are in the minority so what ha what needs to happen to swing bitcoin cash back in the favor the only thing that can happen for us in our favor is when the market start to die down when the mean coins start to die down when the dopamine effects start to reverse and become an anxiety when you wake up in the morning every morning you wake up there is a minus 10 percent on your screen printed when that happens let's say five six times in a row then those people will go off the dopamine shots and they'll go into fear mode and in the fear mode the first thing they do they will withdraw from the market but then they look for safe havens and bitcoin cash is one of the safest coins you can find because it has the um, the computing power that backs bitcoin is also backs bitcoin cash and they're transient basically these two coins are transient to each other so for people who then experience losses after losses after losses those people are the ones who is gonna look for safety and they could look for the safety in US dollar, but you could look for t in Tether. But if Tether fails, then they can only look for this safety in Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash. So basically, they're cashing out of the game at the casino. And when that happens, we're going to see a nice substantial increase in Bitcoin Cash, but not like 30%, 40% in a day. Instead, it's more like a slow, steady increase on a day to day basis. So if you have that situation, that is the moment when you see that people coming back to you and having um, uh, having meaningful discussion about Bitcoin Cash again. Because then people realize, oh, so crypto is not supposed to do double every six months. That's something unnatural about it. So then people won't come back and look for the most steady coin, most solid coins. And when that happens, then you have a renaissance of bitcoin and all versions of bitcoin talking about all versions of bitcoin here i want to address one thing that's been asked about many times is about the the lawsuit uh, in the united states uh climate versus the right i don't want to comment on that lawsuit all i can say is it doesn't matter what's the outcome whatever the outcome it is it will not have big impact on the price of bitcoin 
it will not have big impact on Bitcoin Cash, but it will have a big impact on Bitcoin SV. So anybody who's into Bitcoin SV, uh, I think at this moment, you already have waited so long, you might as well wait for the lawsuit to finish to see what happens. But most likely, actually, if the lawsuit does not pan out exactly according to expectation, then the price might actually even drop because the expectation is that price will go up and people would have bought already into it beforehand, right? So this is my short comment about BSV. I don't want to linger too much on this topic because uh, that is the hot top potato I don't want to touch. Too many lawsuits around this whole thing. I basically have no training in lawsuits, so don't believe anything what I say. Just discard anything I just said as garbage regarding BSV. Uh, instead, focus on the coin that is substantial, that's fundamentally sound, sound solid, and have a uh, decent upside with no downside and that coin is Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin Cash community is growing I can see my own personal community is growing as well so all that summarizes in probably the best possible value for money coin you can find right now in the world so let's hope this all go according to plan and we'll see what happens next all right see you in the next one Bye-bye. I'll give you a panning shot. Nice boat is driving by right now. That will be a $3 million boat, I reckon. Two, $3 million. And the marina here is private, so you can buy the berth. Basically a long-term lease, 30-year lease. Yeah, it's a decent place. If you want this kind of lifestyle, I get seasick, so this doesn't matter to me. Yeah.